At the end of the irrigation season, commence a backflush cycle by pressing the M button and check that the backflushing happens in sequence according to your backflush controller setup. Wait for water to flow out clean and freely from the backflush manifold. Toggle the control assembly to inlet pressure and make a note of it. Now toggle the control assembly to outlet pressure and make a note of that. Subtract the outlet from the inlet pressure. This is your DP value. Make sure this is within the operational range. Blockage of the control assembly filter will cause a malfunction of the back flushing process. Check to see if it requires cleaning. pressure from the filtration system. Turn off the water, then open any valve in the downstream of the system to release the pressure. Verify that the pressure gauge is at zero before proceeding. Now inspect the secondary filter. Open the secondary screen filter and check if it is dirty. Clean it using high-pressure water. Once clean, place it back and close the filter. Check for any physical damage to the exterior of the filter and its paintwork and repair if needed. Now open the filling port of each of the tanks. Check the media level inside the tank. If the level is lower than the marker, top up with new media. If the level is higher than the marker, remove excess media. Using a flashlight, check the outside and inside of the tanks for any paint damage. If any paint is damaged, retouch. Use your hands to stir the media inside the tank. If you feel any media solidification, use high-pressure water to crumble it. It's important to lubricate all screws in the system at the end of the irrigation season. Proceed by filling two-thirds of the media tanks with water. Pour the chemical into each tank. Gently stir the media in the tank. Close all the tank's ports. Turn on the water. Perform two manual backflushes by pressing the M button on the controller. Check that all connections and fittings are not leaking. If any of them are leaking, reconnect and replace.
pressure from the filtration system. Turn off the water, then open any valve in the downstream of the system to release the pressure. Verify that the pressure gauge is at zero before proceeding. Finally, disconnect the controller from its source of electricity. Your end-of-season irrigation maintenance is now completed.